Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Randing, a PhD student from IPAS Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I will present our paper, Automated Verification of Aiden Potence for Stateful Service Applications. Service computing is an emerging cloud computing paradigm in recent years. Developers organize a service application as a set of functions and upload them to a service platform after receiving requests from clients. The platform will create instances to execute functions. Since the local data of instances are volatile, stateful service applications usually use a shared database to store and persist data. Platforms usually use a retry based for tolerance mechanism. If the execution of a function fails, the platform will directly retry it. However, retry will result in incorrect execution results. For example, this function purchase first reads the price from the database and reduce the balance. Assume that the first execution successfully reduces the balance and it fails. Then the platform will retry it and reduce the balance again. Then you will see that the retry results in the incorrect execution results. To address the problem, service platforms mandate developers to write idempotent applications. An application is idempotent means that it always exposes the same behavior regardless of the retry. However, this requirement introduces a heavy burden for developers. First, it's hard to determine whether a given application is idempotent. Second, how to fix idempotent issues is also a problem. There are some pre work to address this problem. AWS provides Power Tool to ensure Eden Potence automatically. However, this tool only considers a retry caused by exception thrown by functions. It cannot guarantee Eden Potence under other cases, such as hardware crash or some network problems. Verification frameworks such as FSCQ can verify Eden Potence of sequential functions. However, service functions usually run concurrently. And some other work such as Beldy and Boki can ensure the exactly one's execution of all database function uh, operations. Then the whole function can run exactly once. However, their mechanisms introduce a heavy performance cost. We present a um, new toolkit called Flux to automatically verify and ensure the importance of service applications. There are three main challenges. The first challenge is uh, how to formally define idem potence for concurrent functions. A formal definition of idem potence is desired but still missing. The second challenge is concurrency and arbitrary failure introduces infinite interleavings of functions, which makes automated verification hard. And the third challenge is ensuring idem potence while introducing minor performance costs is difficult. To address these three challenges, first, Flux proposes a new formal definition of Eden potence called Eden potence consistency. And then we design and implement an automated verifier of Eden potence consistency. And last, we use the verifier to accurately identify root causes of Eden potence issues and repair them. So Flux can ensure Eden potence consistency while reducing unnecessary performance cost. First, uh, uh, I will introduce how to formally define the importance. There has been a definition of the importance for sequential functions. So an important problem is whether we can reuse this definition. The definition requires that a function always produces the same program state and return value regardless of the retry. For example, there are two functions which are all uh, sequ sequential and idempotent function. The function write all is used to update uh, uh, the value indexed by the key, and uh, the function read is used to return the value indexed. Uh, the function write is idempotent because it uh, always performs the same update regardless of retry, and uh, the function read is also idempotent because it uh, has no side effect. Uh, however, I will show you that uh, when these two functions run concurrently, its importance will be corrupted. Uh, let's assume that uh, the client first in invoke write k1 and the value becomes 1, and then the function fails. Then the client uh, runs the function read key and the read key returns 1. Uh, then the client uses write k2 to change the value to be 2. Uh, then the read function key, a uh, read key function will return two. And that this time the platform will retry the field function of write key one. 
then the value becomes one again. Last, the client runs the function read key and it returns one. Then you will see that uh, there are only two requests uh, of the write function. And uh, from the view of clients, if there are no retry and failure, the value should be changed twice. However, from the view of clients, uh, clients has seen that the value has been changed for three times, uh, which is impossible without retry and failure. So uh, these two functions uh, are not idempotent under the concurrency scenario. Idempotency is uh, not ensured under concurrency. We need to rethink the definition of idempotence. The requirement for the definition of idempotence should that uh, the idempotence should define the acceptable behavior of a concurrent execution under a try. And then let's uh, first consider the definition of serializability, which is a consistency model. Uh, it also defines what a behavior of a concurrent execution is acceptable. The behavior of a concurrent execution is acceptable if it can be simulated by another sequential execution. This means each behavior of a concurrent execution can be exposed, exposed by another sequential execution. Inspired by the definition, we also define the importance of a consistency model, which is called idempotence consistency. The behavior of an execution with retry is acceptable if it can be exposed by another execution without retry. A set of functions satisfy idempotence consistency if each of their behavior with retry is acceptable. It means that there is a forward simulation between the execution with retry and the execution without retry. Specifically, the behavior has two parts, a sequence of function invocations and responses, and the database state. Then I will introduce how to realize automated verification of eden consistency. According to the definition of eden consistency, we need to enumerate each execution and prove that this execution is acceptable. However, it's impossible because concurrency introduces infinite interleavings. The reason about is concurrency. The basic idea is the composition proof, which means that if we can prove that each function satisfies some property P, then the whole application satisfies the important consistency. Then the problem becomes, what is the property P? The property P is defined as the important simulation. We first construct a new function called f star from f. Uh, specifically, we insert the following code after each database operation in f to model its execution with failure and retry, and then we achieve a new function f star. Uh, this function uses the random function to model the randomness of failure, and the reset local state models the behavior of failure, which means the loss of all local data. And begin is labeled at the uh, beginning of the function, go to begin models the behavior of retry. Then, hidden pattern simulation means that each execution of f star can be simulated by an execution of f under without retry and failure. And we prove the theorem that given a function set, if each function satisfies the hidden pattern simulation, then the whole function set satisfies the hidden pattern consistency. Um, however, only addressing the concurrency is not enough to realize automated verification. We also propose another technique called failure reduction to address failure, because arbitrary failure can also cause infinite interleavings. The basic idea of failure reduction is that we can assume failure happens at most once when proves the same importance consistency. Because if we have proved the theorem that if a function satisfies the idempotent simulation with at most one failure, then it must satisfy the idempotent simulation with arbitrary failure. And the last hour, we introduce how to use verification to repair inconsistent applications. Existing work such as Beldy and Bokey ensures exactly one execution of all operations via logs. Then each get will always return the same value, and each put does nothing on retry. Uh, however, it's a, the ability and bulky introduce a heavy performance burden. Our key observation is that logging each operation in the function is not equivalent to hidden potent consistency. Logging only some of operations can also ensure hidden potent consistency. For, exa for example, in this uh, function purchase, if we only log the transaction and do not log the get operation, 
is important consistency can also hold. So based on the key observation, we propose another component called the wider in the flux. The basic idea is to find a set of operation which satisfy the two requirements. First, logging all operations in the operation set can ensure independent consistency. And uh, second, unnecessary logs are not in the set, uh, which means um, if we remove some operation from the set and only log in other operations, then the functions cannot pass the verification. Uh, then the whole workflow of Flux is shown here. Given a set of functions, Flux first uses the verifier to identify functions without idempotent issues, which can be uploaded to the platform directly. And for the other buggy functions, the advisor will propose a set of operations for these functions and use the verifier to determine whether logging only these operations can satisfy the two requirements here. And uh, if uh, it cannot satisfy the two requirements, the advisor will propose another operation set. And finally, we can use the existing logging mechanism provided by uh, such as Belly and Bokeh to log the operations in the set and uh, then upload the new, uh, new functions uh, to the uh, service platforms. Uh, in the evaluation, we want to answer two questions. First, what is the cost of the verifier and the advisor? And the second, how much performance can Flux improve? Uh, we evaluate Flux on applications uh, collected from many sources, such as AWS serverless applications repository and the popular GitHub repository. There are 27 serverless applications with uh, 79 serverless, applica uh, uh, serverless functions. First, the verifier takes uh, uh, less than 110 seconds to verify an application. And uh, it can find all hidden potency issues in these applications. And the advisor takes uh, uh, less than 90 seconds to find the operation set for an application. And uh, because Flux only logs necessary operations rather than all operations, so compared with the BLD and Bokeh, it can achieve much lower latency and about 10 times the peak throughput in some applications. And, and finally, Flaxi uh, proposes a new definition of hidden potent for stateful service applications. And it is the first automated verifier of hidden potent consistency. We also propose an algorithm to reduce the performance cost of fault tolerance based on verification. It demonstrates that uh, Formal method not only can ensure e-correctness, but can also be used to optimize the performance. Thank you.